Okay, so let's solve this problem. So how many terms are in the geometric sequence? So we have this given geometric sequence. So first, we need to solve for the common ratio, that's R, using this formula that A sub 2 over A sub 1, or the ratio of the two consecutive terms. So in the given geometric sequence, so the first term is A sub 1, the second term, that's A sub 2, this third term is A sub 3, and the last term is A sub n. So to solve now for the common ratio, from this formula that A sub 2, that's 12, then over A sub 1, that's 6. So 12 divided by 6, that's 2. So therefore, the common ratio is positive 2. So to solve now for the number of terms in this geometric sequence, using this formula that a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r to the power n minus 1. Then substitute now the values. So for a sub n, that's 3072, then equals a sub 1, that's 6, then times r, that's 2, then to the power n, so n is the unknown, that's the number of terms, then minus 1. Then simplify, so divide both sides by 6, divide by 6, so cancel, so this 3072 divided by 6, so 3072 divided by 6, that's 512. So this one is 512, then equals 2 to the power n minus 1. Then we need to rewrite this 512 with base 2 to solve for n. So using calculator, so again we need to rewrite this 512 with base 2. So if 2 to the power 6, that's 64. If 2 to the power 8, that's 256. If 2 to the power 9, that's 512. So therefore, this 512 is equal to 2 to the power 9. Then equals 2 to the power n minus 1. Since the basis now of this equation are equal, so we can equate these two exponents so we have 9 equals n minus 1 to solve for n so transpose this negative 1 so that becomes positive 1 then equals n so therefore n is equal to 9 plus 1 that's 10 therefore this geometric sequence has 10 terms